Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Success Academy. I'm Shashan Dias and in this video we are going to look at how not to answer speaking part one questions. But at the same time I'm also going to show you how to answer questions properly when you go for the speaking test. Now without further ado let's dive into how not to answer questions at the speaking test. Good morning. What is your name and what should I call you? Dirk, Michael. Uh, call me anything. Can you tell me about your hometown? Uh, I live in Murudu. Do you enjoy spending time with your friends? Yes, of course. What type of music do you like? Dance music. How often do you use the internet? Every, every time. What leisure activities do you enjoy? I like to swim. Are you interested in sports? Uh, yes, well, why not? What's your favorite season and why? We don't have seasons. How often do you watch TV? I don't like tea. I watch Netflix. Do you like cooking? Mm, no, I don't. Ah, Dirk, how was the test today? You had the speaking test today, right? It's very easy, yeah. Ah, nice. Did you answer all the questions well? Of course. You know me, no? Of course, of course. Now, now these part one questions, did you answer them in detail or just how did you answer them? Yes, definitely. Everything in detail. <laughs> That's very good. Now, what are, what are some of the questions that they are? Did they ask you what your name is and um, what should they call you? Yes, of course. What did you say? <laughs> Simple nomen. My name is Dirk. Uh -huh. Call me anything. What? Uh, what? Did, did, did they ask you what your hometown was? Yes, what? easy no. What did you say? <laughs> I live in Morotua. <laughs> Ayo, Doug, didn't you elaborate the answers? You're supposed to give at least two to three sentences. Uh, so, how to give two to three sentences when they ask my name, man? Only I have three words in my name, Doug, Michael, Amin. Ayo, Doug, how can you get a high band score without elaborating your answers? Alright, so Doug, one thing that you have to understand about the IELTS speaking test is that you have to show how confident you are as a speaker. So even if it's just the part one questions where you have to talk about yourself, you have to try and speak in detail. This doesn't mean that you speak five, six, seven sentences about every question, but at least two to three sentences would be ideal. So why don't you ask me the questions this time and I will show you how you should answer the questions properly. Okay, so first question. What is your name and what should I call you? My name is Sheshan Dias, but you can call me Sheshan. Can you tell me about your hometown? Certainly. I come from a lovely town called Moratua, which is located in the western province of Sri Lanka. It's a fishing village and we are also famous for having a number of renowned singers from our town. Also, do you enjoy time with your friends? Absolutely. I love going to watch movies with my friends. I love playing cricket with them. And we just love to hang out and talk with each other and reminisce the good old times. So what type of music do you like? Well, I mainly like rap music. I listen to a lot of rap music, especially when I'm jogging, when I'm working out at the gym. Rap music is a genre that really tells a deep story, especially of the person who is singing the song. So therefore, I like rap music. How often do you use the internet? I use the internet quite regularly. For example, I would use it to browse information for my assignment. I would use it to go on YouTube and watch an entertaining video. Even while I'm driving, I like to listen to music through YouTube. So that requires the internet. So yes, I use the internet quite often. Do you enjoy cooking? I don't enjoy cooking, to be honest. I like to eat. I love food and I like to eat, but I don't really enjoy cooking. Alright guys, so hope you understood the difference between how to answer questions at the speaking part one test and also how not to answer questions at the test. 
you should never give one sentence or one word answers you should try to elaborate as much as possible because when you elaborate you show the examiner that you are confident that you are able to speak fluently in english and like i told you earlier elaborating doesn't mean that you speak five six seven sentences for every question it just means that you speak at least two to three sentences wherever possible so if you enjoyed this video make sure to share with your friends subscribe to the channel and if there is something that you are struggling with the ilts exam make sure to comment your thoughts down below so till our next video keep practicing